the farmer can record the equipment and materials that will last more than a year with their initial value. The equipment will lose part of the initial value every year. It is called a depreciation. It is calculated by multiplying the initial cost of the equipment with a depreciation rate. The depreciation rates are fixed by equipment. To calculate the yearly or seasonal depreciation cost of an equipment, decide on how many years the equipment will be used. We will take the example of a water pump. The farmer will keep the pump for five years. The cost of the pump is 850,000 Uganda shillings. To get the yearly depreciation cost, we multiply the original price by the depreciation rate. It will give the annual depreciation for the equipment. This is useful when presenting economic results to bank institutions. When a farmer stores a crop and sells later, how will he or she record it in the cash book? The farmers are storing some crops for getting better prices later or for selling only when they need money to cover their family or new crops expenses. The stock inventory is important when looking at end of the year profit and loss for the farm. It is easy to record what amount of produce is stored. What is the value of the crop stored by the farmers? Let's take an example of onions. The farmer harvests the onions and places them in storage. The value of the harvest is the quantity by the price the farmer evaluates the onions to have. It is an average price from the market. The farmer should not overestimate or underestimate the value of the onion crop. Capital assets and stored goods will be added to the profits of the farm in the balance at the end of the season or the year. The farmer can report in the profit or loss table all the previous items. We look at assets. Now let's look again at the cost of loan and in-kind payment. Knowing the cost of the loan is important. For example, a farmer borrows money at the beginning of the season and the farmer will repay the loan after a time agreed with the provider. The cost of the loan is the amount repaid minus the amount borrowed. Dividing that difference by the time will give the interest rate, thus the cost of the loan. The farmer can pay with cash if it is possible or bring some harvests or other products from the farm to cover the cost of the loan. The money lender and the farmer will agree on the quantity and the products. Often times the farmers do not have a say in the unit price the money lender estimates to repay the loan. Getting a loan with a good interest rate is important for farmers. The wider use of cash book by farmers will help organizations to get information to help farmers to access loans.